Uh, so here's my reaction to the actions of climate activists who threw some soup over the protective glass of a Van Gogh painting. Uh, I'm an artist and I'm shocked to hear the negative reactions from the art world. So of course, art is important, uh, cultural heritage is inestimable, and personally I'm dedicating my life to it. But we do have a serious problem in our value system. So the Sunflowers painting is an incredible artwork, but its estimation at $80 million uh, is completely detached from reality. Uh, it's the product of hyper-speculation and the monetization of art into financial assets. So paintings are often the representation and celebration of landscapes, nature and life. But we don't actually give much value to these subjects or to their protection. What is worth more, art or life? Is it worth more than food? Worth more than justice? Are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people? So we are in the process of losing the conditions of habitability of the planet. Yet, a lot of people are outraged about a symbolic action that didn't even damage the painting, since the activist made sure in advance it was protected with glass. The sunflower painting was painted in 1889 in Arles, France, while Van Gogh was sharing his atelier with Paul Gauguin. The studio was a few kilometers away from Verargues, which has recently hit the highest temperature ever recorded in France, with 46 degrees Celsius. So we have heat waves, we have droughts, uh, fires we can no longer control. We're in the situation where we're losing irreversibly these landscapes that Van Gogh loved painting so much. So, Maybe instead of being offended about these paintings that haven't even been damaged, um, I'd like to listen to the desperate message of these young activists. Meanwhile, crops are failing. Millions of people are dying in monsoons, wildfires and severe drought. We cannot afford new oil and gas. It is going to take everything we know and love. So how do we protect not just the representation of a landscape on a canvas, but how do we protect the very landscape that is being annihilated? So if we actually listen to the activists, the message is very clear. We need to stop oil, gas and fossil fuel extraction.